Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the offset command in Rhino. But if you look at the Google Excel spreadsheet, you'll see that we've already accomplished all of the 2D line generation tools to learn in Rhino. And the next ones are more like operational tools, um, how to manipulate lines in Rhino. So I'm gonna just repeat all of the generation line types that we've done. So we have here, the first one is line. And for this particular video, I'm gonna choose this line to be 10 feet. I'm going to draw a polyline with the same dimensions as 10 feet. Uh, for the circle, I'm just going to create a circle that is approximately the same size. For the rectangle, I'm going to create the same thing. Ellipse, same sort of dimensions. And for interpret curve, we'll create a pebble shape with the three points. All right, so for offset, we're going to just simply type in offset. And just like all the other commands, there's a separate command that comes up. Um, the two that you'll want to focus on is the distance. So you want to tell Rhino how far off do you want to offset the curve. Um, and then also in some cases that you might want to offset on both sides. So for those cases, um, you're either going to type D or you're going to type B. But for now, we're going to type D. And we're going to offset the curve at 48 inches. I'm going to view this as maybe it's a, it's a walking path. A typical walking path might be 48 inches or 4 feet. So when you type um, the specific dimension in AutoCAD, it's going to ask to select the curve to offset. Um, and like I said, we've learned all the curves to do in Rhino. So you're just going to simply select the line. And you can see that um, you can choose which side you want the line to offset to. So in this case, I'm just going to offset it to the left. You can see that the original line stays the same. And I'm just going to repeat the command by right-clicking on the mouse. And same thing. Uh, but for this one, you know, I'm going to overlap it into the circle. And you can see that regardless of a line or a polyline, they appear the same. And for the circle, um, I'm going to repeat the command. Um, there's actually two ways to, to initiate a command in Rhino if I haven't said so. You can either click on the shape and then right click, and it'll automatically just kind of populate the command in there. Or um, if you right click, or select the curve, it'll ask you to um, what's the first step in the sequence. So I will select the curve, and you can see that if I offset it on the interior, we have a smaller circle, and then we'll have a larger circle on the outside. So I'll just offset it in the middle here. And for the square, same thing. You could offset it on the outside or inside. If you remember from the line video that if we were to choose, if we were to create a square with all separate line segments, these separate line segments will um, be all different types. And after this tutorial, I'll show you what that would look like. And for the ellipse, we'll do the same thing. The pebble, the same as well. And you can see here that if the offset is larger than what it would be, you can see here that there's overlap. Um, and it'll just trim it off automatically. But you could also um, offset to the outside. So if you were to just say accidentally create a square out of separate line segments. We'll just draw a line quick here. We'll repeat the command offset. We would have to individually offset these lines. And you can see that there's overlap with the lines on the interior. What's nice about the offset command, if you're using polyline, all of them automatically come in as one. And if we wanted to just copy some of these shapes, the outside, 
can move them and give them us enough space because we're going to also do uh, offset on both sides. So we're going to type in offset. I'm going to keep the distance. Um, actually, I'm going to change the distance to 24 inches. And I'm going to select both sides. So I'm going to type B and enter. And when I um, click on the line that I want offset, you can see that it stays yellow. But there's two separate lines that are appearing on either side of that line. And that's because I chose um, it to be offset as 24 inches. So there's going to be 24 inches on either side. You can see here that on this square, when I initiated the command again, that the both sides did not remain in the system. So some commands, um, when the second option appears, you're going to have to continuously tell Rhino that you want both sides to be um, initiated in the command. So when I hit um, reinitiate the command with the right click, you can see that it's only going to offset one, but if I hit B, both of them will appear.